He claimed that he had fired at Brad in the chest on accident and stuffed his body into the trash can that was headed for the local landfill. Jeremy would go on to tell different versions of how this crime took place, and forensic experts didn't believe him. They felt that Jeremy had fired at Brad over a dispute about Taylor, though I don't really know how they came to this conclusion. Forensic investigators concluded that the stains in the trash can and on the kitchen floor had most likely belonged to Brad. And in February of 1996, when Jeremy was 14, he was charged with Bradley's murder, making him the youngest person to be put on trial as an adult in the entire state of Arizona. In January of 1998, Jeremy was charged with second-degree murder and sentenced to a maximum term of 22 years in prison. He was paroled in 2018. When it was discovered that the murder weapon was owned by Jeremy's stepfather, Brad's family sued the stepfather, stating that it was improperly stored. They also stated, as was heavily theorized, that Jeremy's family knew about the crime and helped dispose of Brad's body, and aided in a crime scene cover-up that lasted for several months. The case was eventually settled outside of court, but there's no information about what this entailed. Sadly, to this day, Brad has never been found, and he's still listed as a missing person, even though it's pretty clear what took place at this terrifying crime scene. Police and forensic analysts believe that Brad is most likely in the local landfill, but no one knows for sure. Jeremy was finally released from prison when he was 36 years old, 